I'm back, I'm 100%. Why do I have that song in my head? I don't know. But good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. I don't know when you're watching this. I am doing some walleye fishing. One of my favorite lakes, Last Mountain Lake, the Rollins Ravine, staying at uh, GNS Marina. In, uh, like I said, in Rowan's. Nice little place here, good cabins. It's all you need, right? You just need somewhere to sleep. You're gonna fish all day. It's nice having a cabin that's close to the water. And there isn't many options at Last Mountain. Thankfully, they're open till the end of October. So, uh, whereas a lot of places will close already, especially the campgrounds in September. So, I was able to get a place, come here, do some fishing. I didn't have to sleep in the truck this time. It's quite nice. But the sun's rising, so you can kind of see Looks way blown out right now. I promise you it's not that bright out. The sun has not risen yet. I am kind of early-ish. It's already windy. It's supposed to get windier. Let's go make the best of some walleye fishing today. Yeah, baby. You know what the best thing about fall time fishing? No boats. <laughs> so I'm gonna get the lake to myself. There'll be a couple boats, I'm sure. GNS Marina store right here. First time I think I was in it was actually this past fall at the last mountain tournament where Helene and I placed ninth. Yay! Yeah, ninth. Yay! It's not a win, I know. Ninth is okay, it's respectable. I really like to win though. But it's like winning. All I do is win, win. No, that song does not apply to me at all. But yeah, beautiful launch as always. It's probably one of the nicest things, even though if it was a lot of people here. Having the four stalls here, being a single fisherman, it's not as important of uh, not tying up a spot type of thing. So at least right now, if somebody came by, there's three other spots for them to launch at. So yeah, so I'm gonna jump in the Alumacraft. Although you guys have only seen one other video of the Alumacraft out, this is my like, I don't even know, 13th, 14th trip in it this year already? Yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm gone all summer where I can't use it. Uh, yeah, just have, didn't have a, some videos pan out in the springtime after the bass fishing. And then uh, I pre-fished for the last mountain tournament a couple days in my boat too, which I didn't do any filming because I was just trying to figure life out, you know. But yeah, here we go. Let's get her all rigged up. Look at how she sits there, all pretty like. Let's get it all rigged up for cameras and go fishing. We're going to attempt to fish today. One of my most sought after ways to fish walleye. Sharp shooting baby. Jigging rats. Black and gold? Okay, if you say so. Does this life jacket make me look fat? No, you being fat makes you look fat. Sticky hooks. Filming in wind is like so tough. Fishing in wind can be so good. We'll see what happens. This is like the worst intro ever, it's so long. You guys are like, just go fishing already. You know what? I'll fish when I wanna fish. I, okay, I'm ready to go fishing now. First spot, we're gonna go fish. We're gonna go fish sand points. I'm a hundred percent. Get that song out of my head, please. I'm tired of it. Sharp shooting is the funnest way to fish. Mark fish, drop down, catch them on the wraps. Uh, there we go, there we go. That took no time at all. What do we have here? I marked that fish, dropped on top of them, and caught them. Didn't take long. As you can see, it is rough. Rough, rough, rough. Doesn't feel small, but it doesn't feel giant either. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, come here, come here. Yeah! What a way to start off the morning. Booyah! <laughs> okay, I'm not worried. I can drift off my spot right now. I'm going to get this fish dealt with. Obviously, I don't got the best camera angles right now. <laughs> what a way to start the day. 
<laughs> Sharp shooting, baby. So much fun. Look at that start right there. What a beautiful fish. I love sharpshooting, baby. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna get her back home. Got a quick measurement on it, 27 inches. I know, maybe it doesn't look 27, but I promise you, it is. See you, girl. That right there, that's what I'm using. Number nine jigging wrap, black and gold. Awesome bait. I'll talk a little bit more about different types of snap baits, I don't know what they're called. But you got like your jigging wraps, your shiver minnows. Uh, Acme has a new bait out, well, newish bait out, the hyper rattle. They got the hyper glide too, but the hyper rattle is closer to something like this. So I'll talk about more about different options. I'll kind of lay out some options there. I'm gonna try some different uh, types of uh, baits as well today, but right now, boom. Okay, set up again, swinging around here. It's a nice thing about the tiller when it's windy is it's just giving you just a little bit extra boat control. Now, these days, the, the spot locks on the trolling motors definitely are pretty amazing too. So I don't think tillers have as much as an advantage as they used to. But uh, <laughs> being able to just kind of slide around slowly, get on top of a mark, hold on top of them, unbelievable. The spot lock actually would come in good right now just to kind of hold the area where I am after I catch that fish. I don't know why, but there's just something about the whole vertical jigging walleye that's just so enticing. I don't get it, but I do love it. Oh, baby, didn't even mark that fish. That fish had me pinned to the bottom. I went to snap it and there it was. Oh yes, those fish will pin these baits to the bottom. Let's see if I can just boat flip this one. This one is gonna be lunch. A nice tasty treat for me today, about a 16, 17 incher probably. You're gonna taste so good. Like I was saying, I went to go pop it and there was weight. What they'll do is when this bait goes to the bottom, they'll come and they'll pin it to the bottom. Hence, sometimes when you get hooked in the bottom chin lots of times too, is they're just eating it out of sand, right? It's just like a straight, it creates a reaction out of them. Reaction can mean good things, can mean bad things, but it's a reaction bite. It's, you're creating a reaction out of something. But like I said, they'll pin it to the bottom and you go to snap it and there's weight. And all you can really do is just kind of finish your hook set and just hope that it stays on. Reeling down and jamming it again is an option too. But lots of times when you're snapping it, you're creating a pretty good hood, a pretty, whoa, that was a good wave. You're creating a pretty good hook set as it goes. That uh, the braided line helps with that with the no stretch in that aspect. Now, a lot of guys will say braided line, well, if you used, if you used a mono, it has stretch, you lose less fish, which is true. But if you match your rod to the line you're using, so like I said, I'm using uh, a braid and I have a medium light, fast action rod. I have a, a rod that actually loads enough and absorbs some of those head shakes, what the mono does, you know, or it kind of takes the place of there. If, uh, in terms of absorbing head shakes, a little bit of stretch, a little, for, a little bit of forgiveness. Having a good rod though, you can definitely use a braid. Mark and mark, 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 mark and fish, mark and fish, ma, 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 mark and fish. I definitely don't want to be any deeper than 32 feet. That's gonna be my max today. That's my max. Kids, don't, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 I got a big fish on. Whoa, that thing crushed me. At first when I set the hook, I honestly didn't know whether I was snagged. Oh, oh, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. 
Oh, baby. It's not a big fish. You know, I said I was snagged. Or I thought it might have been snagged. No. I was snagged on a fish. Oh, I first thought I had... I thought I had a donkey on, guys. I thought I had a donkey. That is not a donkey. That is... Would be a nice, another tasty treat. So, I think the limit's four. I'm gonna take two fish home tonight, and that's what I will have. I love the till of life! Till of life! Till of life, baby! Drop down, now I'm marking some fish. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Again, like I said, went to go snap it, and there was a fish. Oh, this one's got some weight. This one's got some weight. <laughs> Man, I love fall time walleyes. <laughs> love them. Oh, this one feels good. This one feels decent. Let's get this net ready. Oh yeah, good fish, good fish, good fish. So it's got a glimpse of them. Good fish. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yes! Oh, <laughs> jigging wrap came out. This is awesome. <laughs> oh. Man, I love fall time walleyes. <laughs> Oh, I love fall walleyes. I love fall walleyes, baby. They just get so aggressive. So much fun. Love it. Nice, probably 23 incher. We'll check here. We'll check. We'll check. Mouth closed. I was wrong. She's 24. Nice 24 incher right there. Awesome. Okay, girl, here you go. Let's get you a release. Fish right on the edge, right on the edge. Fish on the drop, fish on the drop, fish on the drop. Rat bite. Here we go, little guy. Little guy. I think. Fish are biting. Fish are biting. Little guy. Oh. Thank you for participating, my friend. Oh yeah, waves coming over the back, baby. Waves coming over the back. Oh yeah! <laughs> Went to go lift again. Fish had it pinned. So many times they've been eating them right off the bottom today. Pinning them, pinning them. Oh. That was a little aggressive on that boat flip. Okay, stay. Nice fish. Great slot fish. 19 inches of boat, beautiful. We are on them. We are on them. Cracking them. Cracking them. Marking fish, dropping down. Marking fish and dropping down. <laughs> Mark fish dropped down, almost messed up, <laughs> went to snap it, fell the weight, 
panicked a little bit, reeled down, set the hook. Nice. Ooh yeah, nice. Ooh baby, ooh baby, ooh baby. It's not a not a monster, but uh, it's nice enough for at the net for sure. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Jigging wrap is free. Oh yeah, easy girl, easy girl. Okay, I've got lots of fish underneath me, so we'll get this one in quick. Beautiful fish. I don't know, 22 incher. I'm curious. We're gonna measure real quick. exactly what it was 22 inches thanks for participating today girl here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slide in out of the wind a little bit we're gonna talk a little bit about rods tackle and the types of different baits that you could use to do this type of presentation and then I'm gonna come back out and see if I can slam one more good fish yet okay so I pulled into the marina here at uh, GNS which I talked about earlier uh, I'll cover this a little bit first. Like I said at the beginning of the video, showed up last night, nice little cabin to stay in, got out nice and early. They're, they're small cabins, but they're exactly what you need for hardcore fishermen. A place to sleep, a place to cook, a place to uh, use a shower, bathroom, etc. You don't need much. Heck, I sleep in my truck a lot of times, but this was a nice little treat for sure. So they have like a full marina here, as you can see. They also offer fully guided fishing, half day fishing, boat rentals. There's a place to fill up there as well, which makes it super convenient. And of course, like I mentioned earlier in the video, they also have the store up top. Anyways, like I said earlier, they have cabins open till the end of uh, October. So hopefully I'll be back, but it gives you plenty of time to come and experience the whole jig and wrap bite. Now I call it a jig and wrap because that is the whole that's that's kind of what started it the the raffle of jigging wraps as you see here these are what i was using so far today this is a number nine jigging wrap i'm using the gold one though that's a number seven there's a blue and chrome also in the number nine but the, you have a bunch of different other types of the same 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 style of baits just different companies you have a nils you have a shiver minnow i'm not sure that uh who makes that the I forget the whole the name but it's called the shiver minnow this is one i haven't played around with much that is a phantom tilly this is the Acme Hyper Rattle, and that's the Hyper Glide. The Hyper Glide is pretty much too, too um, uh, light to fish it in this rough of water. The, the Hyper Rattle would work really well. There's a bunch of other brands, obviously, that I'm not, I'm not catching. You know, a lot of different lures are gonna work, right? I'm not gonna say you have to use a jig and wrap. That's what I use today so far. It's worked great. And, uh, next time i come maybe i'll play around with something else i've heard good things about this phantom tilly i'd like to use that a little bit i've played around with the hyper rattle the smaller versions in the winter done very well on those so you know i know lots of guys that do well on the nails a little bit bigger there's a bunch of different options out here just get out there and try it rods though rods rods i don't find something that has to be particular to you there's a certain style that's going to work a medium light rod to a medium with a fast action. You want a fast action because you want that tip to have the load there and lots of backbone where you can snap the jig. Snap it, snap it. Now this is the first year I've used this rod. Um, I use it in the tournament this year for the first time. Absolutely in love with it. I can't say anything bad about it. It's a GLX walleye series, medium light, fast action. It's solid. Like, I love it. You get a solid backbone for a good hook set, and it seems to keep the fish pinned very well. Jigging wraps, man, fish love to pin these baits to the bottom, and you're gonna lose fish on them a lot. But that's why you want, you know, to find the rod that works for you. Everybody's got a little bit different style. Keep a good tight drag on the hook set, but don't forget to back it off as soon as you start fighting a fish, especially the bigger ones. If you're fishing a braided line like I am right now, this is a this is a 20 pound um, super slick, and then this is a 15 pound fluoro carbon leader. I run about, usually between, uh, I'd say 15 to 30 inches of fluoro carbon. A little barrel swivel right here is gonna stop some of the line twist. Not all of the line twists, but some of them. And like I said though, 
I got a little bit off topic there before I started talking about that, uh, the style of line and whatnot. But find something that works for you. Everybody's got a little bit different style. I like to set a hook pretty hard and then back off a little bit. Some guys like to set a hook and try to reef them in as quick as they can too, just so you have less time for that fish to spit the hook, which makes sense for sure. That's just not my style. I like the hard drag, rip the lips, back off the drag as you're fighting the fish. Just don't forget to tighten that drag back, uh, back up when you go fish again. So the wind is supposed to be picking up here a little bit more this afternoon yet. I'm gonna try to get out there for a little bit more fish as long as I can, see if I can get one more big bite. Back to fishing. Okay, back! Oh my, I literally just dropped down. Um, um, yeah, this fish feels good. Are you kidding me? I just did my tackle talk. This fish is screaming, like, I wonder if this is not a walleye. This has got to be a pike. This has got to be a pike. <laughs> okay, I literally just did my tackle talk. Got back out here. First drop, I slam a monster. This, this can't be a walleye. It feels way too, this is too, if this is a walleye, it's an absolute giant walleye. No, there's no way, this is too heavy. It's too heavy for a walleye. This is a pike, but this is a big pike. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. This feels heavy. I want I just want this to be a walleye so bad. It just feels way too heavy to be a walleye. Way too much weight. This is screaming pike. Yeah, definite. Nice pike though. I'm gonna net it so I don't break off my jigging wrap. Oh, that's a good pike. Oh, oh boy. That pike's a little too big for this net. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger net. <laughs> we almost needed a bigger net. That is a big, big pike. <laughs> you know, I deal with these things all summer long so it's not like a giant but it's definitely a 37 38 inch pike beautiful fat i knew it was too good to be true <laughs> one more look at her and back in oh that's a big pike come on girl settle down she has got settle down girl she has got some girth to it okay girl settle down Okay, one more look back in. She's freaking out a bit here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There she goes. When I set that hook, I was pretty excited, but I knew, I knew better. I knew that wasn't a big walleye. fish got me worked up if you ever catch a pike on your gear really really check to make sure because it would suck if your next fish costed you or if that fish cost you a big a big walleye oh, 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 oh. there we go there we go there we go right in the drop right in the drop mm. Here we go, we have a customer. We have a customer. Wants to play the game? We're gonna play the game. Oh, he did, he did, he did, he did. It's not big, but uh, marked him, dropped, caught him. I love sharpshooting. I love sharpshooting. Whoop, 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 whoop. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. Geese are coming back from their 
from their fields. You guys survive the day, I see. These geese survive the day as it is hunting season. I used to hunt the waterfowls and I do miss it a little bit. Actually, I just miss hunting with my puppy. I miss my puppy. Yeah, I miss my puppy. I think I need another puppy. I could take her fishing. She'd be right now. My puppy would be in the boat with me. If you think that I should get a puppy, a new puppy, like this video. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will get a new puppy. Mark and fish, backing up, dropping down on them. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I was just about to drop out more line and the fish come up and nailed me just as I was dropping line to it. Marked that fish, circled it, dropped down, slammed him. Just like that. Electronics, baby. It's all about the electronics. Love the electronics. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Nice specimen once again. Beautiful. Walleyes. Sharp shooting walleyes. Way too much fun. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yes. It's getting crazy windy. I was going to call it soon. I'm probably going to call it right after this fish. Oh, it's getting windy. It's not a big one, but I've had a little bit of a dry spell after it got windy. And voila, another walleye on. Look at it. I can't even stand up, up and down. You guys are getting seasick watching this. Look at the size of that one. Thumbnail. Just kidding. It's a little guy. Amazing. Okay. So, like I said, it's getting crazy windy. Like, I don't even know if this is watchable anymore. Like, up and down. Can't keep camera lenses dry. Had a good day, short day. It's just afternoon sometime. I, uh, if I was fishing without cameras, yeah, I'd bounce around, whatnot, catch some more fish. But I wanna get home and get this edited quick. So, like I had, like I talked about in the tackle tip stuff, guys. All the information should be in there. I believe I covered it all. Hopefully, if not, leave some comments below if you have any more questions. I will try to get back to you. I try to get back to everybody as much as I can. Thank you, everybody, for your patience once again. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, get outside. <laughs>